Cool boy, howdy. How are you? We just got the post about the new update and the new update is coming out on Thursday the 11th of June for iOS and Android players for people like me on Windows and Amazon Kindle. The update is going to be delayed until Tuesday the 16th of June, which sucks, but they have already confirmed that. So there's not a lot that we can do about that at this point. But this new update, it's got quite a lot of features in it. Obviously, it's bringing the new sigil update with it. But we have this brand new moth dragon that's coming in this update too. And this dragon is one of, well, it, you can get it through DCP, Dragon Collector Points. So this is going to be a dragon that you're going to see very, very few people having. Because it is at, I believe, a 250,000 point milestone which is, uh, I don't even know if there's anyone that exists currently that has that amount of points. Please do link me to images if I am wrong. But either way, we've got that new moth dragon and I have to say, very cute looking dragon. I like it. I do like it. It's kind of, it's much cooler than the pinata for a collector point reward dragon, to be honest. But either way, this is on the forums, it's also on Facebook and possibly on other social media. I'm going to be going through it on the forums and a couple of people have asked questions already. But we're going to go through this, it's a lot of reading, but generally we've got the new Sigil stuff. We have essentially a season pass, so if you've ever played other video games that have, oh god I don't like that, that have had season passes before, you can probably guess that this is kind of pay to win now. <laughs> As if DML wasn't anyway. Um, I don't like the idea of it, but we'll go through it and I'll go through my thoughts as we go there. So first of all, we've got the Sigil system released. Our biggest ever change to the combat of DML has arrived. Enter the Sigil Tower for daily keys to open chests and collect sigils. Empower your dragons with more strength and skills than ever before and gain opportunities for new strategies and customized fighting teams. So we went through the tutorial video for that. Um, I believe some of the skills have changed very slightly since that video came out, but the general idea is the same. This new system will come with its own quests, achievements and badges, which are unlocked by collecting sigils, completing sigil campaign battles and making stronger sigils through fusion or pay to win. Sigil campaign. The new sigils also bring with them a special campaign dedicated to testing your battle prowess. The sigil campaign will pit your fighting team against nightmarishly challenging opponents, with sigil chests available as rewards for progressing through the short campaign map. Each sigil campaign is only active for a limited period, but if you can reach the end and defeat the final battle in time, then you'll also claim a dragon as a prize. What was that, the Alpine Dragon, I believe it was? Sorry. Only dragons with at least one sigil equipped can take part in the sigil campaign, so you'll want to choose the first dragons you equip with sigils wisely. So, again, like it says there, dragons can fit two sigils and they can have synergies with one another. If you have three dragons that have enough synergies, you'll get a special super bonus. Um, so realistically, you're going to need at least three dragons with probably upgraded sigils to complete that map. And again, there's going to be a new campaign every month. I like that. Do I like sigils though? Questionable. Dragon Master Pass. This is the season pass that just screams pay to win to me. I am not looking forward to this at all. I knew it was only a matter of time considering how much money season passes make for games, but either way, let's go. So similar to the milestone rewards that are available during Divine or Ancient events, the Dragon Master Pass will allow players to unlock rewards just for playing the game and spending money. Earn season points to progress through the Dragon Master Pass milestones by completing daily tasks and breeding or hatching dragons, unlocking extra rewards as you reach different milestones. See, that's the free to play bit. Then a premium pass is also available, adding to the rewards that you can collect and reducing the time of any new dragon hatchings. That's insanely good and it's a premium pass, so you have to buy it. But let's not forget that now we have to buy the premium pass, we have to buy the second breeding den, we have to buy VIP. How many layers of like monthly season pass are we gonna get? Are you expecting people to spend like 
literally like 30 pounds a month on your game because that's where we're headed here i really do not like this any more of these like get a, a monthly pass to this extra stuff unless that all comes inside this dragon master premium pass if it doesn't this is getting pretty wild anyway that's that daily desk daily task not daily desk daily desk changes we're tweaking the daily tasks a little to make them more rewarding. Now you'll have up to 10 quests to complete each day, depending on the gameplay features you have access to, with lower requirements needed to complete them. In addition to earning season points for each completed daily task, you'll also earn rewards related to the task, including enchantment tickets, dungeon tokens, and dragon part tickets. You know, I like me some enchantment trinkets, tokens, and dragon tickets, but this is saying that you'll have up to 10 quests to complete, so this may be every facet of the game. So it might be do an arena fight, do a sigil campaign fight, it might be catch creatures, which I hope it's not, but it could be a lot of different things. We'll have to see what they are. On top of this, you'll now have four milestone rewards when completing daily tasks. Two daily tasks is food, four daily tasks is one dragon part for daily task reward dragons. Six daily tasks is season points, and eight daily tasks is gems. This will begin with the scout dragon, then the fox glove, and then finally the bog. If players have already collected these dragons, the cycle begins again from the scout dragon. I hope this means that we can't get duplicates for the dragon until we've collected all of them once. Because that is my biggest complaint with those daily task dragons and in general clan dragons and things like that because there are just so many dragons that you get so many duplicates of but you never get the parts for the dragons that you want and that is so frustrating and they do it on purpose so please i hope that this is changed Whew. then we have the dragon board event so this is the dragon's delight event not dragon's delight sorry dragon's dice but without the ancient aspect and I really hope that we're still going to get ancient materials from this, because if not, this is going to be garbage. But either way, since our Dragon Dice event has been so popular, we decided to free it from our ancient events. This month, we'll be hosting our first Dragon Board event, a shorter version of Dragon Dice with the same fun, strategic gameplay, and a number of dragon rewards to collect. Look out for details of the event closer to the time. Personally, I cannot see why people would want to play this event if it doesn't actually give reasonable rewards like an ancient dragon and if it's still based on those six hour resets, I will not want to be taking part in this at all. But we'll have to see how they implement it and how they do it. Dragon Collector's Score. We're changing the way some features of the game are unlocked, meaning elements, dragon skill upgrades and higher rarity sigils can only be accessed once a certain dragon collector score has been reached. This is quite major because before this was based on player level and this is going to completely change how the first portion of the game is actually played. So this is quite major. So, ah, where have we gone? No, don't do this to me. Why? Why would you do this? <laughs> okay, back to where we were. So, this is mostly to help our new players get to grips with the features of the game and won't affect our long-term players. We'll also be adding a brand new dragon as a reward for achieving 250,000 dragon collector score, the Moth Dragon. So that is that one that I mentioned before, 250,000. Then we got some bug clan issues, uh, if you want to call them bug fixes, I suppose. So we have resolved a number of ongoing issues with clans, and these are... Clans with inactive clan leaders or with clan leaders who leave the clan will now have a new leader automatically chosen by the system. Typically, the system will choose the player who had the highest MVP score in the previous clan event. So basically, you can take over a clan if you know it's inactive and just take ownership of it. I bet there's going to be some sneaky stuff happening there. So we have tweaked the way that clan dragons have their randomized elements calculated, meaning Boon, Rupture, Brimstone, and Amoro should now generate results more similar to player expectations are you saying that the numbers that you put into these dragons were just wrong to begin with possibly i'd say that's a possibility sugar rush arena win streak quests have now been adjusted to require players to earn consecutive victories in the arena without breaking the win streak status why why would you do that that just makes it more difficult i don't see why whatever combat interface changes 
After introducing some changes to the interface within the combat screen in the last update, we have readjusted some things. What are these things? The combat panel will now be closed by tapping anywhere outside of the panel itself, except when tapping on your own dragons. Okay. Strong normal weak attack techs will no longer appear after the player reaches level 15. That's fine. That's a good change. Unified the font of combat text. Why do we keep changing the font every bloody time? Please. This has like been three updates in a row where we've changed the text. Just leave it. I'm getting annoyed at this point. Whatever. Slightly increased ability icons for better readability on smaller screens. Sure. That sounds like a good change. Now, we're on to Ancient being nerfed, which um, will probably be good news to a lot of people that were very scared about how this would interact uh, with the new sigil system. I was very scared about this. So, with the introduction of the sigils, it was necessary for us to alter the way the Ancient Element skill worked to avoid abuse of the ability. Damage Leech now reduces target attack strength and increases the user's attack strength by 5, 15, 25, 35, 45, 60%. However, now it will not be stackable and will always steal this base amount. This is what it should have been to begin with, because Ancients were so overpowered and then this just made them even worse. Thank you for actually nerfing them. Still not enough of a nerf, IMO, but a hell of a lot better than it was. So, general fixes. The Go Now button has now been restored to the Dragon Info screen when viewing dragons that you own, whatever. The green outline around mines in the campaign map now displays correctly, wonderful. After awakening a dragon's element, the correct icon will now appear over its habitat. Well, that would be handy for players that would be very confused, but... Okay, that's just a nice general bug fix. Element filtering in the inventory or store menus will now correctly display dragons with matching elements that must be awoken. Okay, so that's another awakening-based uh, thing, because they never really... They, they, when they introduced awakening and things like that, they never actually addressed it in terms of any of the search features, so that's good. I like that. So, those are all of the update notes. Um, after actually reading it, it seems I am actually quite negative towards a lot of this. I'm very sceptical. This Dragon Master Path, don't like it. Um, this Dragon Board event, don't like the sounds of it. So, I don't know. I, I guess it's more like 50-50, maybe 60% positive, 40% negative so far from what I can gather. But again, I'm going to wait until we get the update, which <laughs> it's going to be a week late for me. Thank you for releasing it a week late for Windows players. <laughs> uh. So, there are people that have been asking questions in here relate to things like getting the pieces for the Fox Glove. Are they going to be duplicates? Are they not? Um, I'm sure we'll have a lot more questions in this thread here. And again, if you do have any questions that you want Adam to answer, I highly recommend you go onto this thread and ask him there because he does respond. He is responsive. He does try his best to answer all your questions. Um, but this Dragon Master Pass thing, man, I need to see what the stats are in it because this is like... I've seen games do this before, where they get to this point where they start introducing air quote season passes, and you know, we kind of had them anyway for the Ancient and Divine events, and if you want to get the chest dragons, they're pretty much required, but I've seen games do this before, where they put in the season pass system, and then it's like, yeah, you can get cool rewards free to play, but it's like an 80th of what you get if you buy the season pass and reducing dragon hatching times and things like that just base if that's actually a thing it's ridiculous because we already get that with vip and then if this is gonna be on top of vip i can only imagine just the game will become completely pay to win at that point like there's I would find it difficult telling free-to-play players to keep playing the game if that keeps getting worse and worse and worse. But whatever. I guess I will, like I said, I'll wait until I see it and see what the stats are and see how it works. But I'm feeling pretty bad about this update. This new sigil system, again, the upgrading and fusion of them, sounds pay to win. It's Dragon Master Pass, completely pay to win. Uh, current Breeding Blitz event, completely pay to win. Um, so I'm not feeling too good recently about these changes. I'm very skeptical. But let me know what you think. Uh, maybe you think I'm being a Debbie Downer and maybe I'm just overreacting. Maybe you agree with me. Maybe you think I should be 
absolutely fuming about these changes. Just, you know, let me know. We're all open to our own opinions and um, please, please don't have duplicates anymore in these stupid clan dragon stuff. Whatever. For now, I'm going to leave it there. So let me know what you think. Take care. And until next time, I hope that I will see you then.